Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're tuning in right now, please let me know where you're tuning in from, even if you're watching the replay. And please let me know that you're watching the replay as well. So these are going to be life hacks that I created, things that I have been doing now in the new year that I think would be helpful to you. So the very first thing, of course, is praising Jesus. Um, every morning you should start off with a prayer, at least saying thank you for waking up in the morning, you know, um, right in your gratitude book. I actually have my gratitude book. I write in every single morning. I use that to manifest things into my life. And to quickly talk about manifestation, some people have misconceptions that they're just going to think that they're going to manifest something without actually working on a goal for that. So you can't just say, uh, I want to travel the world and just always put that. But are you putting in work to be able to obtain the money to be able to travel the world? So you have to put in the work in order for your manifestation to happen. But you have to have that positive mindset and believe that it's going to happen and already be grateful for it as it's as if it already happened so it's very important to write in your gratitude book and say thank you for the things that you have even bad things that happen that you think are bad are all in god's plan so just stick in there it's always going to be something to make you stronger in life every obstacle we go through is to make you a little bit stronger believe it or not um, number two is waking up at five o'clock in the morning. So I've been doing the 5 a.m. for a very long time. I used to work out in the morning. Now that I have to leave a little bit earlier, I don't work out in the morning anymore. I usually do it in the evening because if not, I'll have to wake up at like 4, 4.30 just to get that done. Um, but in the morning, I do my gratitude book. I do everything I need to do. If I didn't make food the night before to take to lunch, then I'll bake something. Like, for example, this morning, I made salmon and asparagus in the oven for me and Carlos. Um, and he had rice for his plate. I don't eat carbs that much. So um, I just had that only. And I was able to bake that in the morning while I got ready. Um, also gives me some extra time to get ready if I need to wash my hair, if I need to blow dry it. Um, little things that I need to do, it's your your time. I also read a 15 minute um, book in the morning or listen to an audio book in the morning for 15 minutes while I'm moving around and doing things, also tidying up the house or whatever. So I have my own mo morning routine that I will discuss with you. So the next thing is self-development. Uh, you want to have some sort of self-development that you're listening to watching or whatever that's going to help you move forward with whatever obstacles or weaknesses that you have in your life the next one is self-care you want to take care of yourself so you want to eat healthier you want to have vitamins you want to have you know certain things that are going to make you feel better you want to have a good skincare routine so, so self-care is the next one that's one of my favorites um, the next one is time management. So you want to be able to, to have good time management skills. So maybe plan your day either the night before or when you wake up early in the morning. It is not good to wake up, rush out the door, and be late wherever you're going. It's good if you have an hour to yourself before you start getting ready, which is why I highly recommend the 5 a.m. club, and it'll help you with that time management as well. Um, work with a purpose. If you work everything that you do with a purpose and you have a plan and you work your plan then i don't see you not being able to better yourself so that is definitely a life hack work on purpose do something with a reason and if it's something that's not going to make you better or you're hanging around people that are not going to help you and make you better and move you up then you need to dismiss those people um, or dismiss that thing. Let's say that you're at a job and you hate your job and you're just not happy there. Then you need to dismiss that and find something that's going to make you happy. And you need to work towards that. Um, the next thing is be involved with your kids and see what they're doing. So this is to the mom and dads that are watching me. Um, you want to be involved with your kid's life you want to see how their day was you want to see if they have any homework if they have anything going on if they're upset about something that something happened in school are they being bullied who's bullying them why are they bullying them are they able to get things done for school do they need help with homework are there are they having trouble with math english reading 
what is going on with your kids so many times i see parents worrying about their phone worrying about other things and dismissing their kids go do this go do that i don't have time for you and that is a problem so we need to be more involved in our kids life and we need to make sure that even if it's dinner time or whatever they don't have their phone you need to be with them you need to have that one-on-one -on -one time no matter where it is where you have that time to speak to them you have to allow them allow them to open up to you so that you can have that relationship with your kids you don't want your kids to say oh well i'm not going to tell my mom or my dad because they flip out every time i say something you need to be somebody who's relatable and able to talk to yes you have to discipline your kids but at the same time you want them to have you as a best friend as well so that's a big life hack to be close with your kids um the next one is think before you speak. A lot of people always have something to say and they don't realize that they need to think before they say something. They need to be absolutely sure before they say something. And that's something I've worked on as well because I'll just think of something that pops in my head. I'm just saying it, but think about it first. You know, what if what if you say something you're just really not sure you're just assuming you know just say you know to be honest i really don't know right now i'll get back to you so just always think before you speak you're more intelligent that way too focus on helping others self okay in order to it sorry i'm like getting messages um in order to get what you want in life you need to give others what they want in order to get what you want in life, you need to give others what they want. Being in the service business is so important because when you're servicing other people and you are putting that good karma out there, you're helping and helping and helping and teaching and teaching and teaching and doing all these things, this is how you are going to grow. So if you start helping other people and not being selfish, like for example, let's say right now, I know how to do something really cool or whatever and you know I'm gonna keep it to myself I'm not gonna show other people how awesome this is it's a skill you have teach people the skill help people grow that is how you're going to grow it's the same thing in network marketing for example if you have a team of people and you have three girls who are struggling in your team and if you teach those three girls how to move up and duplicate like you do then you're going to grow because those are your team members. They're going to grow with you. So same thing with a friend of yours. You know, I'm not going to tell her how I do my makeup or what I'm going to wear to this party because she can look better than me. You can't be like that. No matter what, be humble, excited, and wanting more for other people. So that whole being shady, that whole being envious and stuff like that, that's only going to set you back. So that's pretty much it, you guys. Those are my life hacks. I hope that you enjoyed them. If this video would be helpful to someone else, please share this video with them. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.